We live? Oh, man, I didn't know I was live already. Can y'all hear me? Smash the like button. Share this video. Like this video. It's the baddest brand in the land, champ side. Let me know, can y'all hear me? I didn't know I was live already. I didn't click live. She's crazy. So, man, oh, man, do I hope this is not true. I hope this ain't true, people. I hate for it to end like this. You know how a bad breakup be. So I'm going to give y'all what the reports are saying, and then we'll determine, you know, I guess how real it is. We won't know until Errol say something, until Derek come out and just straight say something. But uh, let me see. hold on real quick. We good? Can y'all hear me out there? Let's get into this, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hope all is well. Support the channel at dollar sign champ side on Cash App. Follow us on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. You know, you know what is hitting on. Smash the like button, share this video, like this video. Now, report came out that Derek James and Errol Spence Jr. have split. Or that there might be a rift, should I say. Hold on, messing my shit up already. Okay. Or that there might be a rift, right? So we haven't seen Arrow back since July. We see Coach James training Ryan, training um, Frank Martin, training uh, uh, Burley Brooks, I believe, is his other fighter. And uh, he was on Cigar Talk with uh, Najee. And uh, here's what he said. Matter of fact, let me holler at the chat real quick, then I'll tell y'all what he said exactly. How's my mic? Is it good? People hit the like button. Share this video. Say it ain't so. Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford. I mean, Errol Spence and Derek James split. Sounds like you got some background noise. Yeah, I probably do. Yeah, I probably do. But it's uh it's accounted for. I know I know about it. Shout out to Anwar Willis in the chat. Rodney James, shout out. You said, man, say it ain't so. Errol and DJ rise to the top together. You know, all the good things must come to an end, is what they say, right? Shout out to uh Rodney again. You said champ side was popping. Salute to the baddest brand and baddest chat in the land. Watch my video I did on P. Diddy yesterday and watch the video I did on Kendrick Lamar the day before that. Brother Mike, shout out. Prize Fighter, shout out. David High, shout out. Woke, shout out. Kazakh Nova and Still TV, shout out. Prize Fighter, shout out. I got Pizzo, my guy, shout out. Appreciate everybody for the support. Uh, shout out to my guy Francis, repping Baltimore with the cash app early this morning he said just throwing a little bit in the collection plate i do appreciate that thank you kindly sir uh shout out to uh tevis my guy he said hit the like atx shout out d matthew shout out skull duggery the beard is on point champ sorry thank you bro thank you i don't know how to take that but i'm gonna just you know what i'm saying just figure you give me a nod Shout out to uh brother Mike. Yeah, appreciate that for the input. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm kind of moving around right now. So uh shout out to my guy Pizzo doing a little bit of promo for the brand. He said you can support the brand through Cash App at dollar sign champside champside.com for merch. Appreciate that. Uh, shout out to Kendra, Kendra, Kendra Diggs. You said, I think a change is needed for show. Shout out. Came to win. Shout out. Kevin Bridges. Shout out. Okay. Now let me get into the article. Right. So uh, basically this article is an excerpt from the interview that Errol did with Najee on Cigar Talk. And here's what Coach James said. He says, I'm focused on my other guys. We talked three weeks ago. Meaning him and Arrow, you can't look back. You can't look forward and look back at the same time. So I didn't watch the interview. How many of y'all watched the interview? I didn't watch the whole interview. I only saw like a clip of it. But um, these are just quotes that they pulled from it. 
so the context may be lost in it when when he says you know i'm i'm worried about or i'm thinking about my i'm focused on my other guys because literally his other guys have fights right so some might say well he's focused on other guys well he ain't thinking about Earl. he's he's leaving you know they done but that's not necessarily what it means right it could mean frank has a fight in june right and ryan has a fight uh next month in less than a month so i'm focused on you know who i can who i can train right now who has a fight date right now who's fighting right now right so that's how i look at it right not until arrow say something right but i'm gonna keep going because he said more shout out to uh jb you said i'm on a little break but what's good champ side i can't lie seem like every dark coming to light in 2024 ain't it again man the bible speaks on the prophecies man you all you gotta do is read your scripture and uh some of the things come to pass right uh shout out the pound for pound boxing talk i mean even with ryan talking about all of the stuff he was talking about with sex trafficking and all that stuff and then boom here go diddy <laughs> you know what i'm saying here go diddy getting in a whole bunch of whole bunch of antics right well not into a bunch of antics but sponsoring certain antics uh black belt being shot out Ja champ shot out uh you said i watched the whole interview i watched the whole okay that's what's up sugar free mars the queen is in the building shout out to sugar free mars uh pound for pound boxing talk you said i saw it context is missing from the statement they asked if he knows errol's mind space he said right now his focus is on the guys working right now no diddy <laughs> why you keep saying no diddy right that's yeah that's what like i said i knew coach c if something like that happened coach james not gonna throw no shots at errol he gonna let errol announce it he not gonna come out and say all this shit. he not gonna do none of that because why burn a bridge when you don't have to especially if it's just speculation you know we don't even know that we don't even know really what Errol's trying to do next because I think what happened was he tweeted something like I'm looking for a new home right he said something like I'm looking for a new home so once he said that everybody assumed that he was talking about a new trainer oh I'm trying to see where I can be so I ain't okay there we go that's better right uh so so anyway so let me continue with what else was took out of the the interview like i said that's why i don't just already said it even though i didn't watch the interview that's exactly why i said well i don't have the context right because arrow posted and it says in his article he posted find a new home right and it said that calvin coach calvin uh expressed interest in bringing spence to the team right training him so it says uh Derek James was asked if he expects Spence to fight again following the brutal first loss at the hands of Crawford. And Derek James said this, quote, mentally, I guess he's OK. I believe when you participate in your biggest fight and lose, when the song stops playing, you got to dance or start putting that chair up. Mm. Said that. Uh coach james said sugar ray Ro uh, sugar ray, i'm sorry sugar ray leonard and muhammad ali still wanted it even as retirement beckoned he says if he's healthy meaning arrow and everything is good with him he can keep going he can keep doing what he's doing and uh they asked him about uh the discussions with spence's next fight and the crawford rematch and he said if you're gonna fight the rematch is the fight to fight finish that deal out so basically, Coach James saying, you know, if you take any fight, you know, it need to be the Crawford fight, right? Um, they asked him about Frank Martin and Devin Haney being an underdog. He says everybody's an underdog at some point. Everybody's a nobody. Uh, he, so let me see what the chat saying real quick. Did y'all catch all that? I hope y'all heard that. Smash the like button, share this video, like this video. He didn't allude to them breaking up. Well, it's funny because the heart the, the article that boxing scene put up says 
Derek James hints at a rift with Errol Spence Jr. Focus, uh, focuses on other uh, char charges. I think it means changes. But anyway, uh, I have been seeing people putting videos out that coaches. I mean, this isn't the first time I heard this, right, chat? We first heard this maybe a couple months ago. So, I mean, it's not really new. I've been people been asking me if this was true right now. It just is getting a little more uh, air under his wings, I guess you could say. Steve Mega shout out anime shout out Black Bill Ben shout out. You say in that interview, Derek didn't say anything about not being with Spence when he was asked about Errol going to 54. He said he was he said it was up to Errol. Yeah. Well, like I said, people, if you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile, right? Uh, shout out to Intelligent Savage. He says, salute champ side in the chat. Smash the like and share the content. Drumming for life, shout out. Miss Aisha, shout out. Uh, Lil Rock, shout out. Lil Rockhead, shout out. <laughs> Lil Rockhead, don't really know what's going on. Facts. Boxing and barbecue, my guy, shout out. A17, shout out. Edgar, shout out. Francis, my dude, appreciate you, man. Shout out to my guy Francis in the cash app, throwing something in the collection plate. You dig? PGA, shout out. Hustlers Home, shout out. B Dog, shout out. You said a charge is someone you're responsible for, so I think that's the intended word. Really? I ain't never heard. Focuses on other charges? Focus is on other charts. I ain't never heard that. I learned something new every day then, I guess, because I ain't never heard that before. A charge is somebody you're responsible for? Nigga, that sound, you focus on other charges, sound like he fighting the case to me. Hold on real quick. One second, people. Well, last thing I seen Errol really say besides what he says when he told me now about fighting Keith Thurman. So I don't really know what Errol trying to do. Have Drake or J. Cole responded to Kendrick Lamar? I'll, I'll say that. I'll say that. I'll say that for later because y'all ain't ready to talk about that. The no response from some of y'all favorite rappers. So they asked Coach James about uh, Ryan Garcia's, you know, all of the things he's doing recently. And he said, the antics have nothing to do with me. I don't see one thing he did on Instagram or YouTube. Plausible deniability. I don't know what he did. I tell Garcia, keep that shit outside the gate not just out of the gym outside the gate cut that off man <laughs> so coach james told ryan to cut it out knock it off he told him don't he said not just out of the gym but outside the gate like don't bring it in this atmosphere that's who coach james always struck me as somebody that's no nonsense right so he told him Nigga, find something else you know what i mean then he said plausible deniability, right? He ain't trying to get caught up in your stuff. Alistair, shout out. Miss Kiki, shout out. You say you got flagged down in a restaurant for the black and gold, the brand on fire. That's what's up. Yeah, you see me. I'm rocking. I'm rocking champ side on champ side. You know what I'm saying? Doubling up on them. Mr. Bowie, shout out. How much Derek get paid now? The the uh, what's that boy name that looked like Tales from the Crypt? You know the old writer, the nigga with the with the crippler cross face, the nigga that looked like <laughs> the nigga that looked like Tales from the Crypt. You know the boxing reporter who got all his info sources. He just as bad as Capinger. So this dude came out and said that Arrow was on some pimping ho shit with Derek. And he's not paying Derek, right? Saying that basically uh Arrow was unhappy with the game plan, so he chose not to he chose not to pay Coach James. Now I know that's cap. 
that got to be cap. Because I don't see Arrow just shorting uh, Coach James on anything that he owe him. Right? But that's what the crippler, I mean, that's what tells from the crip face dude wants you to believe, right? You know, the dude that always got everybody gate numbers and, you know, he talk like a like he on Goodfellas or some shit. Hold on real quick, y'all. Man, I've been I've been listening to that Metro and Future album. That shit hit. I'm telling you. It's hitting. It's hitting, dog. Hold on one second. My fault, y'all. Uh, shout out to Coach Alex Hustle. Yeah, charge can be someone you're responsible for. Damn, I ain't never heard that. He was not having it. Facts. Big George shout out. Seven Graham shout out. No clown shit in my space. It's like the media keeps fishing for something negative because Arrow and DJ, basically the whole team is moving in silence on their moves. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that dude. Yeah, they do look like Tales from the Crip in the face. Uh, Cartel, shout out. You said, wow, shout out to the baddest brain in the land. Yeah, I heard me shout out to my guy, Cartel Bo, in the building. Mark Miller, shout out. He says, from the home of David Morell Jr., he also told him about the collaborating and not taking instructions. There goes the door. He also told him about the collaborating and not taking instructions. Who are you talking about, Errol? You said, no, nah, Spence not pulling the boo-boo. Morel, you mean? Jock Champ, shout out. B dog, you said that guy has a personal vendetta against Al and the PBC, so he always has some kind of negative gossip to spread. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you say he be glazing. Yeah, I don't have to say. I don't even say dude name, bro. I think if you have him on your channel, you some clown behavior. Honestly, I don't need. I don't need a dummy to argue with. There's plenty of dummies out here. Why I need another one? A loud dummy who thinks he's a fucking mobster and shit. But you know, niggas want to see that at the table, so they're going to bring him on there, even if they're arguing with him, because they want some views, they want some clicks, they want some attention. I would never promote that dude. That's why I don't mention his name. I just call him Tales from the Crypt. He was talking about Ryan can hit the door if he don't listen. Who, Derek, Coach James said that? Or Crippler, I mean, or, or Tales from the Crypt said that? No, champ, Ryan. Wait, Coach James said Ryan can hit the door if he not going to listen? He was talking, yeah, sorry. He was talking about Ryan can hit the door. Ryan F around and pulled the the fire alarm on fight night <laughs> that did get the hell out of there snack shout out never folded shout out uh ran ran shout out okay let me ask this question if coach james wasn't with if arrow wasn't coached with coach james who would you want to see him with right who who can maximize Arrow's style? Who would it be? Because I think Arrow has a lot of... If you watch Coach James boxing back in the day, 
um because they have a fight of coach james is on youtube a couple of them if you watch him arrow has a lot of coach james style in his in his in his style right so being that he picked up boxing late and he started boxing you know going into the olympics and coach james kind of took him in he has a lot of coach james style right Ronnie Shields, why not Bill? Coach James said that about Ryan. Okay, I got it. Coach Calvin, no one. He needs DJ. Coach Cunningham, interesting. I think I don't think you can leave Coach James off of one fight, honestly. I think Coach James deserved at least, you know what I'm saying, the opportunity to, to bounce back. You know what I'm saying? I don't think... You could just get, I mean, if you went up against the best fighter in the world and physically you didn't feel right and you got beat, then fuck. I mean, does it really matter what, I mean, honestly, I didn't see, I don't know what Arrow's game plan was. You know, I think once Crawford took away his jab, which he said Arrow does everything off his jab. Once I take the jab away, I know everything he's going to do because everything starts with the jab. And when Bud, when Bud, basically handicap him with the jab and he couldn't jab his way in and get his other shit off bud was check hooking his jab and shit you know jabbing over his jab countering over his jab you know he didn't have much else plus i think he was hurt i think being that he was hurt early in the fight it didn't allow for much like thinking and adjustments he just started fighting off instinct right off the bat once he got clicked uh freedom's march shout out that's my dollar shout out he said he had to straighten him out before he said that about any fighter oh coach james said he had to straighten ryan out i'm not surprised at all man ryan looked like he'll come in the gym and fuck around One second, people. One second. Motion is motion. We got motion, people. Uh, shout out. Let's see. You saw, oh, I saw that. I saw that. Stick shout out. Ryan F. I saw that. What y'all think about Frank training? Y'all seen Frank training? Frank training pretty hard. Who is that ref that comment? I think it was pound for pound talking about I could smell a motherfucker with money. Frank acting like he about to get the tank fight, right? Frank, Frank always be recording himself driving, you know what I'm saying? Feeling this shit. But you know, you be you start feeling that nigga start feeling himself even more when that tank, when that tank contract about to be signed, when it's signed. That nigga just in the front seat, just listening to all kind of music. You know how you be when you be vibed out in the car and shit by yourself. Niggas recording himself, dancing, having a good ass time. I say he must be getting that fight. But he always, he always do that, honestly. Frank finna surprise, man. Frank been, Frank been feeling that shit. Uh, Steph Brown, shout out. Bozy, shout out. I mean, Omar, shout out. You said Bozy in this. Oh, you want Arrow to go with Bozy? Uh, I don't know who I would want to see Arrow with, honestly. I would want to see him with somebody that, I mean, what are you changing? That's the question, right? We could all name trainers, but tell me why, right? Arrow's a very balanced fighter. You know, he takes, he inches his way around the ring. Um, he 
pretty much sits on all his punches when he wants to. The only fight he really didn't do that in was the Mikey fight. But he's always in he's always balanced uh offense to defense, high guard, you know, keeps his hands tucked responsibly, technically, uh works off his jab, you know, um very methodical fighter, you know what I'm saying? So then why are you getting rid of Coach James and for who and for what to do what to make Errol more of a mobile fighter, more on his feet to do like what are you trying to what are you improving? I guess that's my question. No matter who you name is. Uh, can Coach James implement implement a new style or do what do they say? Or do he got to throw out the baby and the bathwater? He got to just get rid of Coach James altogether. Right. Why can't Coach James just come up with a new game plan, right? So y'all are saying, you know, I asked y'all, but people are naming all these names. But my question is to do what? What are you improving? What are you to do what? And is it to beat? Is it to beat um, Bud? Because you need a specific game plan for Bud, right? Errol's game plans, most of them are similar, aren't they, Chet? With the exception of Mikey, he fought a lot of them guys the same, right? Come forward, heavy on the front foot, press you out, put a lot of pressure on you, overwhelm you, make you make mistakes. I mean, he fought pretty much everybody the same except Mikey. Mikey, he was on his toes. You know, he boxed more. He wasn't trying to sit on everything like damn near Olympic style. So now so you're changing trainers to do what? So let me read what y'all are saying in the chat can't over you know it sounds good to just name new trainers but again that's my question what are you improving right i don't think errol is ever going to have more hand speed than bud crawford do you if you agree type agree i don't think his feet are ever going to be quicker than crawford's if you agree type agree uh crawford's natural reaction time might be better than errol's naturally instincts uh his boxing iq Stuff like that. So I don't really know what what we doing. We just gonna we are just gonna teach Errol some new shit. Like I think it needs to be calculated. Um, those are the biggest differences in that fight to me. Bud's hand speed advantage in the exchanges. Uh, his ability to not be pinned down, cornered, or cut off on in the ring. His punch selection. His punch accuracy. His punch timing. All of those things stood out to me. And I don't know how a new trainer is going to fix that. Those are some of the, you know, those are like, those are things you have or you don't have. Uh, Let's see. Y'all short on them likes. What they short me, man? What they short me? Smash the motherfucking like button, nigga. See, I don't be cursing nobody out for it, right? Just do it. Like, like, like Champside. My Keith Thurman. This ain't McDonald's, but you can have it your way. That nigga said, this is not McDonald's. And I am out of this fight, y'all. Sure, uh, I never considered it. No one immediately comes to mind. Bozy, you said. Yeah, Bozy will have him doing a lot more, you know, probably throwing more punches, moving his hands quicker. But again, I think you always revert to what you know. You know, Errol's, what, 33? So it, it's sad that we acting like Errol. Errol is like some. We good? It looked like he cut out for a second. Uh, you said I think he should stay with James and maybe do some with. I don't know you. Y'all got to type in complete sentences. <laughs> Arrow wasn't right and knew it coming in, so I don't know if there was one really. Eight one seven. You still mad at Bud? <laughs> nigga be going in on, but every time I post, but this nigga, I still don't like the nigga. 
I just want to know Bud really moving up for real. The only trainer that's really been honest about EJ's skills was Bo Mack. He's the only one that been honest about how not technical EJ was. You said I think Arrow didn't train properly. He got beat by a better fighter. They are a lifetime duo. Yeah, I would like I said, I don't think it's cool to 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 Bozy, but EJ gotta see boots first. He wanted to just manhandle Terrence, but it couldn't be done after being hurt after that first knockdown. Pretty much, yeah. He wanted to press him out. He wanted to break him. But you cannot break down what can be broken. I think he should stay with James and bring in Calvin to help. Damn, really? That's great. What do you think Coach Calvin going to do? I'm just curious. Like, I'm not saying he – what do y'all think Coach Calvin is going to show or teach Arrow? Just boxing talk, right? Not to say he won't do what he is going to do or what you think he's going to do. I'm just curious what y'all are seeing. Coach James teaches good fundamentals. Ryan need to grow up. Man, Ryan was on Spaces this morning. I just checked out. Man, see, all evolution, not good evolution. See, you got revolution, devolution, and solutions. And pollution and prostitution in the constitution. Like nigga, get the fuck off my Twitter space. <laughs> Is this the shit you talking about, nigga? Listen, let me tell you what I just learned today. Looking at I feel like Spence appreciate that. Frank Martin ready for some action. Uh shout out to Emil, shout out. Freedom's March shout out in the super chat. He said for staying unbiased and keeping it real, there are a few real boxing channels left. Keep it up. Maybe EJ has an issue with Ryan. Yeah, Ryan brought that losing ass shit, that goofy ass shit to the camp. I already peeped that when they first got to when he first got there. I'm like, oh fuck no, not Ryan. I remember when it happened. Remember I told you I think Ryan doing that for PR. I think he's just doing it for, for, for PR, right? Uh, you said Frank and Boots finna shake some shit up. Uh, Y'all seen that video of Tank and Frank sparring? It wasn't even Frank. Like, come on, man. Y'all believe anything. Nigga didn't even look like Frank. Big, tall, slinky, slender dude. Virgil Hunter. I, I always think about Virgil when they say stuff like that. But you might be right. Virgil's kind of technical, right? With Ward and Bread Man and Arrow. Seeky in the super chat with the floor de lee. Shout out to Seeky in the super chat. Appreciate you for the support. Uh Floyd Sr. Man, Floyd Sr. too old to be training. You said Spence might not have appreciated the way his trainer talked to Crawford's trainer. You think so? I don't think they got nothing to do with it. They saying Coach Calvin, Crunk. You said, I think he should stay with DJ, but if he leaves, he could get a defensive trainer. You think Earl needs a more defensive trainer? I don't. Nah, I don't. I don't think. I think Earl's defense is good. I think his biggest issue with Bud is his feet. Anybody else? Um, Cutting the ring off. Getting in position. Uh, I don't know, man. I watched that fight. I, I honestly, I watched that fight many times, and uh, Arrow didn't do as bad as people, you know, really remember. He didn't do as bad as, but it was so dominant, and it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was pretty bad, honestly. He could have did worse, honestly, but I don't think he could do no worse than he already did. 
you said at this point he won't gain more speed. He need to focus on being more technical. Only thing I think Earl need to do right now is develop a great game plan to beat Bud Crawford. I don't need to change my style and find a new train, all this other shit. Now, I'm trying to beat Bud. Y'all don't think Earl could beat Tim Zoo with Derrick James? Y'all don't think Earl could beat uh, 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 Sebastian Fandora with Derrick James? I, I take Derrick James and Earl against damn near anybody, but Bud, you're going to have to do some different shit with. Now, remember this chat. Remember this. Derrick James, my guy, right? Derrick James say his wife send him clips of the champ side, champ side, champ side, champ side. She watched me, right? Derrick James and, and his wife, respectfully, they watched me, right? Now, with all due respect, because Derrick James, my guy, he said you putting the truth out there, right? That's what he told me, right? Now, the truth is, if we really keeping it funky, that Coach James said that Bud switching was some dumb shit. Right. That's some new shit. Don't nobody give a damn about that right now. To be fair, Bud didn't switch much in that fight. He fought Southpaw almost the whole time. But Coach James was a little dismissive of Bud Crawford's skill. If you agree, type agree. Don't again. I rock with Coach James. I'm not finna lie, though. Right. It was all fun and games until the fight came and it was like, hold on, nigga. I thought you said all this shit don't matter. And like I said, Bud didn't switch much. But it was everything, man. It was the fact that he was capable of of doing all of that, right? Uh, he was so comfortable, he decided not to switch. He just stayed southpaw. Yeah. If you watch Jaleel, he fights like Arrow, but with explosiveness. You talking about Jaleel Hackett? Ronnie Shields helped David Morrell with his defense. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Arrow's defense is hurting. Just that when you go against Crawford, you know what I mean? He's so creative and so. He said he just need to be more creative. You said my favorite fighter these days is EJ. Uh, I saw that drumming for life. Shout out. Roll Tide. Shout out. Man, the chat booming today, man. I hope this ain't true. You know, people love negativity. They love to see, you know, black men beefing and splitting up and falling out. And I hope it's not true, honestly, because uh, Derrick James, one of my favorite people in boxing. Arrow, of course, one of my favorite boxers in boxing. Uh, Aaron, shout out. Loose Bills. How can, how can I ever forget Loose Bills? He's the one who started the drama with Bud. <laughs> Right, I know he remember. If Arrow isn't fully dedicated to boxing, the new trainer won't help. Uh, you said I think Arrow needs to counter more and fight off the back foot. Let fighters come to him. You must have been watching my live the other day, bro, because that's exactly what I said. Arrow is good. Who he's with, he just can't beat. Bud Calvin Four would be a good fit. EJ needs a statement fight. Freddie Roach seemed like more appropriate coach because he would teach him how to move with lateral movement, good angles, and still hit with power. Now you might be right about that. Uh, no one gonna say Bill undisputed. All these fighters wasting their career. Errol Crawford, Boots, Tank, all of them. Why you say they wasting their career? Shout out to 704. Uh, why won't he fight Thurman? He don't rock with Thurman, bro. He said, nah. Coach Guzman added some defense to Mel's fight style. He could bring Guzman in. Oh, please, no. I do not want to see Errol in there fighting like Mel fought Canelo. He on his dictionary babble facts. Ryan is easily influenced. I blame Charleston White. Somebody said Earl need to bring back Blu-ray. Well, y'all been asking Earl to bring back bring back Blu-ray forever, man. I don't know what's up with Blu-ray. I ain't heard from him in a minute. I'm sure he out there, you know, doing this thing. No shout out to Blu-ray. Been on the channel, showed us love. Errol got a problem with Ryan's dad nappy hair comments. Oh, yeah, he did say that. He said, my hair like Bill's, didn't he? So I think Ryan going to Derek was a good move for him. 
Frank Martin will be Tank's biggest test. You said, like I said, Kool-Aid got three ingredients. Fresh fish on the line. Floyd Sr. has dementia. Somebody said that was Mank, mank farting. <laughs> That's crazy. Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny are good at explosive training, unpredictability. They are really good with game plans and identifying opponents' flaws and exploiting them. Yeah, I saw that. I've seen I, literally the punch that tank beat Ryan with. They drilled that shit. But I think I think most trainers do that. It just Ryan was so flawed that um, you know, it came out even better. Uh, can't change up the recipe, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to cook through, man. Y'all in here heavy today. He looks sluggish and slow verse, bud. You say you can't do anything with the feet if you have the same boxing style. Well, I think your feet are a part of your style, right? But that's what I'm saying, bro. The things that Errol, the, the things that the advantages Bud have over Errol, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Need to stop coming forward as much, fight off his back foot. Well, that's why I said, see me, the only thing I'm thinking about is Errol beating Bud. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm not thinking about Errol versus all these other boxers because to me, that's what, that's what he would probably want is his get back. So, yes, against Bud, he does not – he should not go into the traps so eagerly or so often. You know, he should take his time. He should take his time and see, do Bud make a mistake? Do Bud overextend? Can he put Bud in the trap, right, instead of push, 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 push until he break? Man, Bud, Bud dealt with that shit. You say he's not beaten, but I think he can beat Bud, but not with a not with his same game plan, not nothing with you know, most of the tape is out there, right? He ain't gonna just start doing some random new shit and it'd be the best thing ever, most likely, right? But again, your temperament, your mentality. You can't go into that fight thinking, I'm gonna break this dude, I'm gonna make him quit. Nah, fuck that. Win this round. Win this round, then win the next round. Then win the next round. You could worry about breaking him and Breaking his orbital bone, all none of that shit don't matter. Do you get extra if you break somebody orbital bone? I mean, if you get a stoppage, you do right. But a win is a win, right? Uh, uh, no matter how you stop him, whatever it's like, man, I wouldn't even focus on that shit. But you know, that's how you learn in life is through big losses, losses that you don't expect to lose, and that's when your character come out. The only thing with Errol is that he been through. A lot of uh, adversity. He'd been in many accidents. Uh, Y'all do realize that Arrow got in an accident after his big accident. I think he said he was driving a Jeep or something. I remember Floyd put that out there, I think. Y'all know what I'm talking about? They said Arrow was in it. So Arrow was in, he was in an accident right in the Ferrari where he got thrown from the Ferrari. Then between like covid and 21 he got in an accident in his jeep then he got in another accident i think it was like bud's birthday or the day he fought avenesian that's when the 14 year old ran into him because well arrow been in like three different accidents right plus the detached or torn retina so he's not a spring chicken as they say he's not you know he got a lot of wear and tear on him uh ray you said salute champ side the sparring tape shows that they love throwing them distractions to the masses thinking we all for the banana in the tailpipe like tank dev to move away from nappy talks you think so man that that the, honestly that nappy here shit it ain't it's like that i don't know like to me i mean i don't i'm not saying they shouldn't be held accountable but man it's so many bigger things where niggas could be outraged at, but you say you got Errol over everybody at 54, said Bud. Exactly. 
the way you box ties directly with your feet work. Yeah, of course. I'm I'm with you. I agree with you. And your rhythm, right? Your rhythm, your natural, your your natural rhythm. It's like Pacquiao, bro. That's what made Pacquiao so difficult. His feet. If you agree, type agree. Dude is so unpredictable. He got happy feet. He jumping in, he jumping out, he left, right, he pivoting, he everywhere. He in and out, like just everywhere. So that's what made him so so that's how he surprised so many dudes, how he was able to move up in weight classes. Cause you know, that's why I told y'all, even if Pacquiao fought a tank right now, nigga, that wouldn't be no easy fight. No, sir. Remember, I was trying to push that fight. Come on, fight pack. Shout out to Steph Brown in the super chat. You said, gotta get back to work. I'll hit the playback for the gyms. Be well, champ side again. Salute our chat fam. God be with you. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. And uh, God bless. Okay, let me skip in the chat real quick a little bit. Let me skip in the chat just a little bit. You said everyone forgetting Arrow had a broke rib. It's hard to move. How you know Arrow had a broke rib, bro? I ain't like I said. I don't know about that. Kenny Porter. What I think about the Frank Martin fight? Uh, like I said, I'm not picking against Tank. Only. It had to be Devin or Shakur in there for me to pick against Tank. And even then, I'm not even going to say I would pick again. I don't pick against Tank, just like I don't pick against Bud or Arrow. Right now, I'm not picking against Bud. I want to see Boots and Bud. I'm still not picking against Bud. Like certain people, they earn that to me. If, if, if you earn that, I'm not picking against you. Like, you know how people say, don't bet against Brady in the bowl, that type of shit. This is what I'm on with Bud with uh with tank with devin until they meet each other i'm not picking against them i never picked against bud ever until he fought errol and i never picked against errol until well i haven't picked against errol ever right you said errol versus bud is all that matters everything else is ad hoc you said, I'm hoping the reports aren't true or if they have some validity that they aren't as heavy as people are speculating. Yeah, you said EJ needs to work on positioning and cutting off the ring, be more lateral. Well, he suffocated a lot of niggas in that ring, right? Cutting the ring off. But, but again, great feet, great rhythm. Chat, you know, you know what stuff that like make me really like fighters and nuances. Y'all remember when Bud came out the Shaka Khan? Ain't nobody. Again, that nigga, he he got he got a certain soul, a certain rhythm to him. And he and he loves to fight. He loves to compete. You don't beat niggas like that. Niggas who come to an ass whooping, bumping Shaka Khan, you don't beat them niggas. I'm just saying, you just don't beat niggas pulling up. You know, most niggas gotta get hype. They gotta come listening to 21 Savage. They got to come listening to Rick Ross. Nigga got to come with a bang or some future or something. That nigga came out with Shaka Khan. What's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, nigga came with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga came with that shit on him. Ain't nobody love me better. Make me happy. That nigga came out to the old, to the Shaka, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. Ain't that crazy? He always come out to fire music. MJ, shout out. But <laughs> brush, you said but stronger. That that night too, Arrow pushed off. Oh yeah, I know right. When uh. I think Arrow tried to push Bud and Bud didn't move at all. Derek has a just like you said, champ side spins gotta win round by round. If he focuses on that, then all the extra stuff will come, like breaking eye sockets and ribs. Exactly. But it's it's not it's not, you know. 
that's what Earl know how to do. So he fell in love with his power. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not his power, but his pressure. Right. It goes back to that that Michael Vick, uh, that Michael Vick comment, right? Where my, I'm. It's a real man to break it, man. Do y'all think Errol fell in love with that? I think he did. Because it's true, right? It do take somebody different to break a man. So, you know, that was a big moment. He kind of fell in love with that. Right. Any man can beat a man, but it takes a real man to break a man. And that's what he did tonight. He said, yo, shit don't even work no more. Get your ass in these seats. Crawford got that skinny dude string. Yeah, that's that wiry frame, bro. Crawford, man. Crawford played outside barefoot. If yes, type yes. I know this, nigga. I don't even have to. I already know. Crawford used to race outside barefoot. Everything. Nigga probably played basketball. Nigga knocked. Uh, uh, tag everything outside. High and go seek out barefoot. I remember when we was younger. They said that that's how you run fast. You gotta wear. You gotta run barefoot. I remember my cousin racing me. I'm like, this nigga really take it. I never take my shoes off. This nigga take his shoes off. Like damn, nigga, all these big ass rocks in the ground. You don't give a damn. All kind of shit on the street, nigga. Glass, food, trash, dirt. Water, all kind of shit. Nah, nigga, I'm taking my shoes off. What the fuck? Country ass nigga. Miss Aisha in the Cash App, shout out. She said, I see you grinding. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. Never mind. I was going to show it, but it won't pull up. Shout out to my guy, Pizzo, in the Cash App. Pizzo. Pizzo. And Miss Aisha, two of the biggest supporters on the baddest brand in the lane. I don't know if my camera going to be messed up. If I, uh, it won't do it. Fuck it. But shout out to Pizzo and Miss Aisha supporting the baddest brand in the land. Uh, I definitely need y'all to support the brand. Uh, we moving. We shaking. We grooving. And we not substitute so support the brand do it at dollar sign champ side share this video like this video that's why nike created the free runs the ethiopians train barefooted for olympics that's how they came about yeah yeah that's what they used to say you run barefoot crawford wrestled wild hogs crossing someone over with no shoes on trust me that's exactly what they would do. Champ side, coat looking fresh, my brother. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, man. Just a little, you know. I need to come out with a, a brand new style on them. You feel me? But this leather, the more you wear it, the more it, the more it, you know what I'm saying, the more sophisticated it be. You know, once that thing break in, once that thing break in, you dig. uh shout out to miss aisha thank you ma'am thank you love uh pe uh killmonger you said who you think errol should hire next i think errol should stay where he at i think errol should stay with coach james and work on a, a better game plan you know it, it can't just be jab and then work off the jab you gotta it's you gotta be more creative i don't even know how does errol beat bud somebody tell me in the chat Fuck if i know i don't know they people get paid for that I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Uh, Errol should join DHP the new death row. You said I wear the black leather one with my black and gold 11s. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I don't remember. 
oh, you know what I, you know what shoes I'm rocking right now? Y'all want to see my shoes I'm rocking? These the first time I wore these. I had to bring them out for my dog, man. I don't know if it's going to show on my camera. I usually don't fit. I don't do my fit checks on camera, but fuck it. See my boy right there? Y'all see that? Damn, why it won't show? Hold on. Let's see. Y'all see that? Man, you can't even see it. Man, I got the irises on, boy. Them original dogs from the rookie season. You feel me? I forgot what these called. I got my AIs on, my nigga. I never wore these ever. They've been in the closet damn near a year and a half. And I got the white and red ones. But I said, oh, I'm wearing black and gold. I might as well. You feel me? I know. I don't know why my camera won't show it. But they got Iverson down the tongue. And Iverson uh, in his handwriting. The question has been answered. Got his stats on the inside of the tongue. They look like Reebok pumps. That's because they're from that era. They Reeboks though. I usually I don't even have no Reeboks besides AI shit. So, but you know that's my nigga right there. So, we had to come had to come with the AIs on the ass real quick. Just a little something, something. Yeah, niggas not wearing no AIs today. They don't know. They don't know how influential AI was. So I had to do it. I could have brought my Jordans out, my Air Max, you know, but that's so typical. You know what I'm saying? I said, man, let me let me break the dust off these AIs because they ain't had no, they ain't got no action. But anyway, this is not about my shoes, nigga. This is about who is what's next for Errol? Is he coming back? Um and all the above. You said I got the Georgetown questions Miz on right now, man. Shout out to AI, man. That's my guy. Had to have the questions. Had to have the answers. Facts. Hit them with something they ain't seen. That's how we do, bro. I used to, when I wear my black and gold, I used to wear my Air Max 97s, my all gold 97s, and my black and gold Jordan 1s. But niggas ruined the 1s, didn't they? You niggas ruined Jordan 1s. Everybody wear Jordan 1s now. Y'all ruin that shit. And I can't, and I'm I'm from the dunk era where niggas SB dunks and shit. They they ruined all that. Everybody wear ones now. Y'all ruin that shit. I ain't bought ones in years. I just said, fuck, I'm gonna keep the ones I got and never buy no more. <laughs> Them champ size sneakers still dropping too, by the way. The press ones, they say. Them the ones in the commercial with DMX. Yeah. Exactly. What's up, my brother? How you doing? Some of the sneaker brands used to be considered generic. Now they're high priced. Man, people just trying to, you know, catch on the history, what they missed. Uh, the Ewings. Remember Sean, not Sean Kemp shoes? Yeah, Sean Kemp, Scotty Pippen. They had some. They had some pretty dope shoes too. Uh, so anyway, so if you came in late, let me rehash a little bit of what was said. So there's a rumor or a report that Coach James and Errol Spence split. Now I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's fact. I'm not even telling you that Coach James said this, but there's an article on boxing scene that says Derek James hints at rift with Errol Spence Jr. focuses on other charges. And he said this, I'm focused on my other guys. We talked three weeks ago. You can't look back. You can't look forward and look back at the same time. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard and Muhammad Ali still wanted it. Mentally, I guess he's okay. I believe when you participate in your biggest fight and lose, when the song stops playing, you gotta ch you gotta dance or start putting that chair up. Uh, he says if he's healthy and everything's good with him, he can keep doing what he's doing. 
if you're going to fight, the rematch is the fight to fight. Finish that deal out. Uh, everybody's an underdog at some point. Everybody's a nobody. Now he's talking about Ryan and Frank, right? And he basically told Ryan, uh, he said about Ryan, the antics have nothing to do with me. I don't see one thing he did on Instagram or YouTube. Plausible deniability. I don't know what he did. I tell Garcia, keep that shit out the gym or out the outside the gate, not just out of the gym, outside the gate. Cut that off, man. So that's what Coach James said. Right, those are quotes from Coach James. You say you drop a champ side, shoot a game is over. Just give me a little time, bro. I'm telling you, I'm coming with it. Because I remember when I didn't have jackets, T-shirts, nothing. None of this shit existed before I said, I'm about to do that. I had one guy I was working with, or a, a shoemaker. I wanted to work with a black shoemaker, though, you know. You said, man, I used to actually skate my SB Dunk highs too hard to find now. SB Blazer Miz all day. Yeah, I remember the SB Dunk era. A6, I never owned A6. Hey, what do y'all think about the old head? Them, them messing with the old head. Then the old head went viral for his fit. You know, he had the he had the the baby blue Ralph Lauren with the uh with the new balance. With the yeah, with the baby blue New Balance, that's how niggas dress in my era though. Nigga, shout out to the thirty and up club, nigga. What the fuck, you want us to wear nigga tight jeans? Uh, uh, you want us to sack skinny jeans and uh, wear what, nigga? Some tight ass shirt, see through shirt that these niggas be. You see these NBA players, how they be? Oh, they dripping right. The NBA players that come with their purse, they flooding. That nigga said, I ain't fresh, though. <laughs> I ain't fresh, though. I wouldn't have gave a fuck what them hoes talking about. Nigga, if you like your fit, that's all that matters. Who dress for other men and other women? Do you? That's the crazy part about people. They dress. Who dresses for other people? Nigga, I wear what I like. And that's it. That's it. And that's all. I wear what I like and what I feel comfortable in that day. That's it, nigga. I ain't giving a fuck, man. I wonder what people gonna think if I come out with these on. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what they think. I said, man. I looked at my. I said, I looked at my kicks. I said, what? What I'm gonna take with me? I said, man, look at them AIs just sitting there. I ain't warning them. I ain't showing them no love. That's my favorite player. Do we hit the code? Black and gold. Okay, we can rock with that, nigga. You cut. Let's roll. I, let the Jordans, let the Nike, the Air Max, the, all that shit. Just lead to the side. Old school was clean on some Texas shit. Man, that was some. That was how niggas dressing. Man, listen, bro. They don't remember the Rockaway era. I mean, he did look like fresh. I mean, that's what we used to do too. Like, how many of y'all just used to have nothing but polos? That's we used to rock that for many. We used to have nothing but polos. Ralph Lauren. We'll go to TJ Maxx sometimes. We'll go to Macy's. We'll go to J.C. Penney's. We'll go to uh, Ross uh, Marshalls, and they'll be having the they'll be having the Ralph Lauren Ralph Lauren tees and draws, nigga. Trust me, I still cop. Fuck you talking about? Cop my pack of polo briefs. You feel me? Cop my pack of polo tees. It's always cheaper at them places, right? And niggas will have every color of polo, especially in the summer. Oh my goodness. Niggas had every every fucking summer color. Peach, lime, yellow, nigga, bright as a motherfucking starburst with them Ralph Lawrence. Then it's always one nigga that come out with that polo association, nigga. Who is that nigga playing on that horse? <laughs> it's like nigga, what you how you get a dolphin on your shirt? Nigga, nigga got a dolphin on his shirt, nigga got two horses racing against each other on the shirt. <laughs> They like them tight ass skinny jeans now. The sad part is they don't really offer nothing but skinny jeans. You go in the store, you looking for jeans, all they got is skinny jeans. Like fuck. Sean John Rockaway was my favorite. I used to love their material on their sweats. That's how I used to rock Rockaway and polos every now and then. 
champ. I got the T socks, boxers, boxers, polo down right now. Everything. Yeah, nigga, you know how we do, nigga. What my nigga Wayne say? Polo T-shirt, polo draws. Now make me take this polo off. Yeah, nigga. Polo is assassination is what we used to call him. Who's that nigga on that now? The cargo pants ain't the same anymore either. Yeah, but the old head had a little fit on, man. I wasn't mad at his fit. I never rocked New Balance, though. Ain't that an East Coast thing? Don't y'all wear New Balance and Sacconis on the East Coast? I never, I never, you know what's funny? The first person I seen wearing New Balance was my grandfather. And I'm talking about when I was a kid. Like, he wore them, you know, how they had that little weird bottom on them. They all got that weird, like, platform bottom. And I don't know. New Balance kind of weird to me. But the ones he had on, they wasn't bad, honestly. He was supposed to have the forces on. I heard they made a song called G-Nikes. And I was like, see, I told you niggas G-Nikes. Remember, I argued with niggas on here before the arrow fight. G-Nikes? Uptowns? Air Forces? G-Nikes, nigga. Yeah, what I said. You said I don't run distance. <laughs> yeah, I never had New Balance, but some of them cool though, actually. The Daisy Dukes. Did you just say men wearing Daisy Dukes? That's crazy. But I guess old head came with another fit. That nigga was like, nigga came with a new fit, green fit. <laughs> nigga brought the olive, the the, the olive fit out. You said I got the black and gold and gray Asics for my champ side metallic font sweatshirt, straight fire. You said I'm wearing eight hundred dollar polo glasses right now, and that's just the frame. Well, send me a super chat, nigga, so I can see what you really, you know, what I'm saying, so I can see through your frames. Polo make eight hundred dollar frames? That's crazy. You might as well go copy. You. I never even seen polo frames, honestly. I don't be. You said I still got all my polos in my closet. I wore one of them this month on a date with my wife. Yeah, polo got good quality, man. They they put out a lot of good, good quality uh polos. Like you wash them, the cloth still good. But uh, you know what's funny is the polos I was buying. They was in the tall T area. How the tall T area? How many y'all wore y'all polo like a tall T? Same shit, nigga. My talk, all the polos I had back then, like in high school, right out of high school, they all big as fuck. They like two sizes too big. You know, when you had to have the bottom of your shirt past your fingertips, if you put your hands straight down, and then again, the elbow check. Shirt can't be above your elbow. Come on, nigga. We was wearing big ass polos. I'm talking about, nigga, like who, who daddy shirt you wearing, nigga? This is how we rock our shit. No shit ain't fitted, nothing. It ain't tight. It ain't tucked in. That's for damn sure. Nigga wore a tall tee. I mean, uh, polos like a tall tee. Tall tee polos with the big horse. No, nah, that too, right? Those two, right? I never liked that one, though. The one with the big horse? I don't like that one. That's that South shit, for real. You said I'm not paying that for shades. The bell by oh yeah, they brought the bell bottoms back for sure. You said DMV love New Balance. Yeah, I know it was an East Coast thing, but you might be right. New Balance probably uh, they probably upgraded a lot of shit. Hold on one second, y'all, real quick. I'm finna get me something to drink. Thank 
Old head on some random NDs. Y'all want to call in? I think I could do a call in. Can I? I think I can. Y'all want to call in? Champ, would you rock stacks? What, you talking about them bell-bottom ones? As long as they don't look like too crap. I, like I said, bro, I'm not a loud person. I don't like loud colors. I don't like loud shit period like that's not me bro i ain't trying to be seen when i when i rock my shit i ain't i give a fuck who see me like you know niggas be doing the most man i'm gonna wear an orange and pink mink coat it's 150 degrees outside but i can't rock no bell bottoms either but if they fit over my shoes nicely then yeah but i don't like my shoes all the way covered by my jeans you know how they do that now like you can barely see your shoes because they got the bell bottom. Is that what you call them? Stacks? Nah, I'm not for it. Yeah, five oh ones. Yeah, that's what we used to wear in high school a lot. Five oh ones, five eleven, five eleven, five oh one, five thirteen, something like that. But I be having to, I be having to really look for different jeans now because some of the shit be I don't like how it be fitting, bro. You say I hate loud color niggas be looking neon and shit. <laughs> you know, niggas be trying to be seen, man. Niggas be dressed like flamingos and peacocks and shit. <laughs> like, nigga, do you see me? You see what I'm rocking? Champ side, did, did you rock British Knights? I had some when I was a baby. I got a, pic, a baby picture with British Knights. But I was too, I think I was a little too young to really like. You know, I never bought no British Knights for myself, but I know I had some when I was a kid. I got a picture. Uh, let's see if I can get the Zoom popping real quick. I forgot how I did this last time. Well, I've been listening to that future so tough. I've been letting that future spin, bro. That shit hitting. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, let's see. Let's share the link. Let's see, can I get the people on? Let's see something real quick. Okay, I can hear. Okay, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Anybody want to call in, jump in. If you want to talk about Coach James and Earl and what they might do next, feel free to join in. Copy invite link. LA gear. Yeah, we talk. It's funny. All that stuff we probably talked about at least once on my live so far. You got to get boot cut, not the skinny. Yeah, I know, right? future second verse on everyday hustle was heat i don't remember that song honestly the one i like though is the one uh fuck you what the fuck you mean i think like his inverse and then that we don't trust you nigga we don't trust yeah i like that shit i like that song with kendrick i like the uh oh type shit that one hit right there that type shit that type shit hit da -da 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 type shit I forgot how it go, honestly. That boy was cooking. Future. Hold on, yo. Let me plug in real quick. Type shit, yeah, right. Type shit. And Cinderella. That's the other song I'll be listening to on there. Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella, yeah, right. That shit hit right. Okay, let's see what we got. 
who want to join in the call? Somebody call in and give me your input on Coach James and Errol and what Errol should do next. You said, uh, Julian, shout out. You said, shout out, champ side. Had to get in here on my birthday to gain more knowledge on the sport. Keep going, champ. Happy born day to uh, M Mr. Woodridge in the chat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. The goldfish glass bottom. see so nobody want to call in that's crazy hold on let me see nobody want to call in huh well like i said i don't think arrow should leave coach james i think sometimes you gotta you gotta win and lose with who you started with uh if coach james and i need interested or he did lack uh lack or he didn't he failed to do something and okay, but I don't really think it's Coach James' fault necessarily. So I would hate to see them part ways when, you know, they basically grinded all this time together, right? And then you got guys like Joshua, right? He, I think he was getting trained by McCracken all these years, and then soon as he lost, he done flipped trainers three, four, five times. See what I'm saying? Uh, Ramel, can you hear me? Hold on, I can't hear you. Let me try and fix it. I already knew. I got this new setup. Hold on. I already knew I might not be able to hear. Let's see. Can, can you hear me? Okay, cool. I can hear you too. What's going on, bro? What's up with it? Talk to me. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's some West. Yeah, that's definitely some West Coast shit. See, the crazy, the crazy thing about that is like, uh, like in Louisiana and New Orleans, like if you go to school down there, like you have to dress in uniforms. They everything uniforms, damn near from the beginning. So. Like it's good and it's bad because one, you don't get to rock your fits, you know, during the week, but then you can rock your fits, you know, on the weekend and stuff. But like when you're younger, you ain't got nowhere to go anyway, right? So that's where you will rock your fits to school. So I was able to like, you know, like live in different places. So I got to actually like wear my shit, you know, what I got for Christmas and all that. But I would have hate to have had to wear uniforms my whole school career. Like, fuck that. Only thing you could do is basically have different shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's and that's public school. You know what I mean? I ain't even talking about private. It's like public school. Everybody, everybody wear uniforms. They say y'all can't hear y'all can't hear pound for pound in the chat. Let me know if y'all can't hear. Them. I can hear them. I can hear you, but they saying they can't hear. I don't know why, but but yeah, man. So, so what you think about um, the Coach James situation? Yeah, yeah. I got a different setup today, so I don't really. The last time I did this, I think Drew Titan had called me, and I figured it out. But let me see, uh, Mike.
Yeah, it's a couple. It's a couple of different settings. Let's see. Uh, uh, can you hear me pound for pound? I'm sure you can hear me. Can can can? Okay. Yeah. Can y'all can y'all hear the caller now? You should be able to hear pound for pound. I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. I blocked it. <laughs> I blocked it. <laughs> I blocked this shit a long time ago. People always people always ask me, they're like, man, why you stop saying it, man? Why you don't say it no more? We're gonna keep it alive. You don't hear nobody saying it now, right? Right. Okay, they saying it no still. Let me see. I'm trying to think what I can do. Let's see, audio. If not, I'll mess with it later and see if I can. No, I, I definitely want to get you on there, though. Let me just see if I can. Uh, I don't think I can hear you with this, this part. Can you hear me? Okay, can y'all hear him now? Let me know. Man, what's going so so what did he on the run? They just can't find him. What yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, I'm like, what they can't find a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But they said they said hop off and rejoin. Yeah, try to go out and come back in. If not, I'll I'll try to fix it a little later because I'm not really sure what setting to put it on. For for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. All right. Let's see. I figured this out when I was in when I was in New Orleans not too long ago. I, I had the same setup. But uh because usually the, the mic I'm using it goes into my um maybe I need to be a webcam. The mic I'm using it takes up my audio, my my headphone audio. But I have my headphone on. I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you singing Diddy. I can hear that. All right. Yeah, yeah, we talking about Diddy. Y'all can't hear it. Motherfucking Diddy. Yeah, go ahead, bro. I'm gonna let you go, man. I'm gonna try and fix it a little later, but I, but but just give me your, I mean, what do you want me to say? What what do you want me to communicate about what you think about Coach James and Arrow? Facts, facts. 
appreciate you calling in, bro. I wish they would have. Uh, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll be live later, so maybe I'll get you in there. For sure, bro. Peace. All right. All right. All right, bet, bro. All right, peace. Uh, Mr. Fit for all, if you want to call in a little bit later, I'm going to get you in there for whatever reason. I'm, I'm trying to figure out my, uh, my setup for the audio to call in. But shout out to you for calling in. Shout out to my guy, Pound for Pound, always calling in. Couldn't nobody hear him, champ. I know I was trying to, I was trying to fix it that whole time, but basically, basically, he just said that he thinks it's uh, more speculation, you know, people stirring the pot because that's what people do. They like to stir the pot you know, shit like that. But he doesn't actually think that they split. And Coach James didn't actually say that they were split. That type of thing. People, if you at work and you in here, type at work. If you're on the road and you in the building, type on the road. If you chilling and you at the build and you in the building, type chilling. If you on the baddest brand in the land, check in right now. I want to see if I'm talking to 100 plus 130 some people or am I talking to robots and really only five, 10 people in here. You never know. A lot of these channels be having bots on their channel. Trust me, they be sending bots on my channel, but the bad bots. Send me some good bots. Send me some money making bots. That's how I feel. Shit. Put them niggas to work. <laughs> Send me a bot that's going to make me some more money. You feel me? You dig me? You smell me? You hide me? You hide me? Man, it's going down. It's going down for real, for real. All right, predictions for this fight week, people. Who we got? Tim Zhu versus Sebastian Fundura. Who we got? What's up, bro? The song for Tim Zoo. He gave it to you, right? The song? The walkout song for Tim Zoo. Nah, he didn't give it to me. What is it? So it's this song, DMX, but it has cussing and shit. Click it real quick. And he wants to start it at the 46 second mark. So let me go here. You mean like on fight night, right? Fight night, yep. This is his walkout song. His main event guy. So he wants to go start at 46 seconds. Oh, yeah. I know. He yeah, is, yeah, yeah. We need it to be kid friendly because it's saying N word. It's, -word, it's dark and hell is hot, right? Yeah. See you if you can version? put uh put in YouTube DMX intro and put clean behind it. DMX intro clean.
Y'all heard that? <laughs> well, we know what Tim Zoo is coming out to. Did I ask y'all who y'all got in that fight? I don't know if y'all heard anything I said. I muted it, though, because he's playing the intro. So Tim Zoo is coming out to It's Dark and Hell is Hot intro. Come through, run through, da -da 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 through. That shit by DMX. They're looking for the clean version, though. Exclusive right here on the champ side. My chat froze or what? Maybe I don't hear what the funk I said. Shout out to Gerard Hood. You said, thank you, champ side, for addressing this champ side, the only side. Y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all heard that. I muted it so the music wouldn't play, but he coming out to It's Dark and Hell is Hot intro. Come through, don't do, da -da 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 do. Fundora split decision. Tim coming with that fire. Nah, you good. Tim, Zoo, Tim. Uh, Sugar Free Mars, you said, I have no idea who will win. I'm not interested in either. Maybe Fundora. Fundora. Damn, you think Fundora stopping them? Damn, y'all picking Fundora like that? That's crazy. You got it? No, I don't. I don't do anything with the music. So you don't. Who's in charge of the walkout? I don't know. I it's have no me. idea. No, You're not the me. DJ of the night. I'm not the DJ. No, I'm the media. <laughs> Say go DJ. I do look like I play some music though, don't I? Nigga asked me if I'm the DJ. No, sir. <laughs> Your bitch present with the music blasting and she keep asking how I shoot if it's plastic. I say you'll see if your boy run up she sat back and caught the and, and cut the carter back up up for sure hey big mike they better step there's authority up for they step to a sergeant son i got army guns you niggas never on me young i'm done talking shut up and I ain't just begun. I've been running my city like Diddy, your chump. I fly by him in a foreign whip. Somebody got to know what I'm talking about. Come on, nigga. Say that. Say that, my DJ. Fundora got the height. Why? Because you black, <laughs> pretty much. I look like a nigga split, spin tables. A table spinning animal. You not the DJ, you the promoter of the champ side, the baddest brand in the land. Ain't it funny how people act like they know you, then they don't know shit about you. <laughs> hey, what's up, my guy? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up with it? You the DJ, right? The fuck? No, I'm talking about Coach James. I said DJ, Derek James. And you hear me talking about DJing over here. DJ, DJ. No, Derek James, fool. Fuck you thought. You said I'm on. What the? Well, what's the betting odds for Fundora versus Tim Zoo? You said I'm gonna roll with Fundora, but I got Tim Zoo winning. Well, I saw Gilly pick Fundora. He was like, "Man, when Fundora win, y'all all gonna say Gilly was right." That's what Gilly said. Gilly said he got Fundora. He said people are gonna be shocked when Fundora win. Fondora, the Fondora to explore about the Sin Sun packing. I'm surprised so many people got Fondora. But I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. What else do we need to address? Roly versus Pitbull. Who y'all got in that fight? 
I seen mixed reviews on that, by the way. Oh man, shout out to V O Y S L, whoever just sent me that Shavoy. Appreciate you. Just sent me. Uh, uh, just tagged me with his son. Said had to pull out champ side for the real champ on his first birth. Oh, that's what's up, man. Happy born day to your to your son, man. That's what's up. It's the kind of content I like to see, man. Yes, sir. See, can I share that with the people? Can I screen share? Screen share. Let's see, can I can I screen share? Put that on the screen real quick. Hey, this shit really be giving me fits though. This whole uh Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. Cancel. Yes, there we go. I ain't going to mess with it. Pitbull, 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 Pitbull. Really? What's the odds on that fight? God self shout out. What the Fundora Roly parlay looking like? Miss Aisha said a few people got Fundora. Roly. Well, Gilly think that Roly ain't got nothing left in him. Basically, that uh, Tank punched him out. We working, man. We working. Uh, anything... In particular, y'all want me to talk about Shakur saying that he going to, you know, be a monster July 6th. He going to make y'all eat your words. Let's see. Devin post. Oh, did y'all see Devin video him drilling the overhand right last night? That boy about to right, knock Ryan out, bro. Tell me. You seen him counter. He, he throwing that counter. Right. He throwing that. He, he trying to throw that counter shot. That overhand counter. Ryan about to get beat up, y'all. I'm just going through my Instagram stories real quick in case I missed anything. I don't think I missed nothing. Because ain't much going on, bro. They saying Wilder might be fighting Zilly Zang. Did y'all see that? Wilder Zilly Zang later this year or something. That weak ass overhand. There you go. There we go, Kina. Derek say he gotta focus on the future of the sport. Who not Ryan? You said I like Fundora, but I can see him looking up at the ceiling lights again by the end of the night. I th honestly, I think y'all are missing out that. Uh, let me put it like this. Who do you think boxing would benefit more from winning? Tim Zhu or Fundora? I think I think this card is Tim Zhu supposed to be Tim Zhu's coming out party to me. Right. He hasn't headlined in America yet. I think this is his first time and he will do that on this card and he was going to do it by putting down the demo on Keith Thurman. Now you put Fundura in there and uh it might be a tough fight. It might be an exciting fight. But I expect Tim Zhu to come out on top because that's going to set up a fight with either him and Arrow or him and Bud or him and Boots. Any of those three. Uh Charlo, right? Remember Charlo was commentating that Tim Zhu's fight against Tony Harrison if I'm not mistaken. Uh Arrow said Tim Zhu is trash. Bud is a reportedly already in negotiations to fight Tim Zhu if he wins, right? So a lot of that info already came out. It's out there already. If Shakur ain't fighting Tank or Keyshawn Davis, I don't care. Well, that's the thing is he might beat the hell out of somebody, but who is he fighting? I think people care more about who he fights than, you know, him just beating the hell out of anybody. 
Frandura got the sister in boxing that I keep hearing about. That could be a storyline. Yeah, his sister boxes, yeah. But you got to remember, his sister boxes. But who is Tim Zhu's father again? Same man that knocked Judah out, right? Stunned Judah. So, you know, uh, Casa Zhu has a lot of history in boxing. And that's a bigger storyline, you know. The father-son duo, him being Australian, him being from a different country. But no matter where they're from, they all come out to black music, right? He gonna come out the DMX just like Triple G used to come out the DMX. Yeah, that man said, "Are you responsible for the DJ?" I wish I was. I fuck around, play the wrong song on y'all ass. <laughs> I have Fandora coming out to. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Nigga, whole sit seven feet tall. He be like, where did shit come from? Wish I had a rabbit in the hat in the six four impala. He be like, nigga, what you doing with that song, Tim Zoo? Let's see what I'll pick for Tim Zoo. Probably some country shit, some kangaroo shit, kangaroo music. Probably some Cambosis shit. Nigga from the same place Cambosis from. Sad. Fundora's sister over Alicia, hashtag champ side. I know you lying. I know you lying. I have seen Fundora's sister. It's a no for me, dog, but hey, to each his own. Play the wrong song. That down under song. I know you lying. Nigga said over Alicia. That's crazy. I see you trying to bait me, nigga. Like I said, I ain't saying nothing. I told you I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. His sister a champion. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm playing the wrong song. I'm like Martin at House Party. Man, if you run into this motherfucking DJ booth one more time. That boy driving too much of that yak. I will pick men at work. It's a mistake. Australian band. I ain't never heard no shit like that. I'll, I'll pick YMCA for, for Tim Zoo. YMCA. If Fundora win and become unified, he's going to have a lot of new fans. I want to see it. Man, if Fundora win, he need to get that get back on Mendoza. That's what he need to do. But who knows, man. Let's see what's on my Twitter, my Twitter timeline. Timeline be crazy, bro. They asked Shakur if he ever went to one of them Diddy parties. He said, F no. <laughs> Boy, say F no. Just trying to see if I missed anything on my TL, on the TL.
I guess Ryan saying he predicted the collapse of the bridge in Baltimore. Nigga, go train. You ain't doing too much. Because somebody posted a fake tweet. You said YMCA is suspect. Yeah, we been knew it's suspect. Yeah, we knew that. They said Fonsworth Bentley really got the secrets. He know everything. I don't think I missed too much. Boy, they're recording all in Diddy House. That's crazy. Why they cooking the the uh the mayor of Baltimore, bro? Why they why they doing them like that? They say he ain't come dressed in a suit and all this other stuff. He needs to predict the end of his coke habit. <laughs> I'm unaware of what's been going on with ESJ. I got to get tapped in. But if the split is true, I hate to see it. Well, it's not necessarily true. So we have actual something that says that is true, right? But it's speculation at this point. That's how he dressed sometimes, though. They gonna blame the black man for the bridge. Facts. That's exactly what they doing. See, that's why the bridge collapsed. Nigga came with a Nike tech on. Where's the suit? We like our liars in suits. They hate to see black men in leadership. It's always going to be scrutinized. They ain't had nothing to do with him being elected right now. All of a sudden, he a bad mayor, all this shit. Honestly, anybody else think that bridge collapse kind of suspect? You know, I'm one of them people. I'll be one of them people every time. I'll say it. That shit look kind of suspect, honestly. Like, the, 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 the ship was traveling a certain way. It lost power. It cut back on. It lost power again. Then it take, like, this hard turn and go right into the pillar of the bridge. Like, it didn't go under the bridge in that big old empty spaces like it went full speed at the pillar hit the pillar and the whole shit just 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 collapsed all at once like what the fuck i ain't no architect nigga but somebody help me out you know what i'm saying ain't no way but like i said we've seen things that we thought like if you ever seen a, a demolition of a building you can tell you know, when something hits something and the building collapse, or if it's a demolition, right? The way it drops, the way it's been laced with dynamite, the way it falls to the ground all at one time, all, you know, together. So I ain't saying it is, but come on now. No coincidence this happened once it got in the channel. I mean, how many boats have rowed around that, around that bridge, under that bridge? How many y'all live in the city with a ferry? Do y'all got ferries? And y'all got ferry in Baltimore? That's what I'm used to, right? Because we got the Greater New Orleans Bridge, but it's super high. Can't no boat hit it. I don't even think a, I don't even think a cruise ship could hit it. But it's the Mississippi River. Oh uh, shit. You got Lake Lake Pontchartrain, that long, long ass bridge, Causeway, Huey P. Long Bridge, 
whole bunch of them, right? I'd, I'd be shook if a bridge collapsed while I was on that motherfucker. Like, what? Like when Katrina happened, right? Pretty much. Exactly. Like when the levees all broke, <laughs> you know, perfectly. Pretty much. But we got, we got, you know, we got ferries and stuff like that. Catch the ferry back and forth. But yeah, I, when I first seen it, I was like, man, that shit don't look real. That shit don't even look natural. The boat don't look, the boat, like I said, the way it turned into that pillar, like it could have, it seemed like it could have cleared it. Went under the space, you know, before it to hit that pillar and the whole shit just collapsed like, like pixie sticks. But yeah, Ryan on Twitter talking about he predicted that shit. There will be a tragedy, a cat, a, 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 a catastrophe in in Baltimore, Maryland. Like nigga, stop it! You didn't predict nothing. That's a fake tweet. You said my man got his captain license and crashed that thing. Man, that shit took a hard turn, didn't it? You said why that ship changed direction. Well, somebody was saying that if you look at the smoke that blew out of the boat, uh, usually the the you know when it emits a lot of smoke all at once, that means you're putting more acceleration in it. So they were saying if you look at the smoke with the boat, the boat actually sped up to go into the to the pillar. Right, it didn't slow down because it let out a huge amount of smoke right before it hit the bridge. So they were saying like. You know, it got ran into. They ran into it full speed as much as they could. I looked at it. It looked like it, too. But like I said, no one's going to believe that someone would ruin something on purpose. What's that saying go? Some people live to watch the world burn. Some people don't care about destroying the world. Some people feel if you destroy the current state of the world that you can rebuild a new one. If you understand, type understand. Don't let that go over your head. Try to say it again a little slower for the niggas who spilt jelly and mustard and ketchup down their shirt, little eggs, little grits. The best way to real the best way to rebuild something, the way you want it, is to destroy what's currently in place. And that's it, Jim. That applies everywhere. That applied during Katrina. And trust me, they rebuilt the shit how they wanted it. Because it wasn't like how it is now. Same thing with y'all gentrification in Brooklyn and wherever y'all at, San Francisco, L.A., same shit. Disaster strikes, and guess what? They rebuilt some new shit the way they wanted it. You know? Projects fucked up. Projects out. They down, they run down, tear the projects down, rebuild. What do they call it? Uh, single family housing or some shit, whatever they call it. But that's how I go, man. Destroy and rebuild. Black build bridges, not tear them down. Seen that long ass bridge you crossed in your video when you were back home, champ. So, yeah, that's the that's the that's the Greater New Orleans Bridge. That's not even the that's not even the long one. The other one be having me shook that go over long go, that go over Lake Pontchartrain because it's close. If you collapse, you in there with alligators. If you understand, type of understand. Yeah, they get that's the swamp. That bridge go over the swamp, basically, to me. I feel like if that bridge collapsed, and it's miles long, I don't know how long it is. Let me look. How long is the Francis Scott Key Bridge? Let me see something. Let me see how long the Causeway Bridge is. 23 miles. So think about this. We we traveling 23 miles on a bridge, a bridge that's 23 miles long, bruh. 
if that shit, if it go down, if it break in one section, you ass out. You can't swim nowhere. You're not swimming nowhere. And then you in the gate, you with the gators, you with all the fucking swamp creatures and shit. Might be a rougarou in that motherfucker. But yeah, Lake Lake Pacha Train Causeway, that bridge 23 miles long. And that goes over the lake. That one of the lakes in New Orleans, right? Take you to Slidell, shit like that. But anyway, yeah, that's, I know that shit long. Every time I get on there, I be thinking about, man, what if this bridge collapse? I can swim. I swim good as a motherfucker, but but just you know what I'm saying, just driving and knowing that, man, what if some what if something happened? What if this shit collapse? I feel like that when I go over overpasses on the freeway too, because I seen the video of an overpass collapsing. And ever since I seen it, I'm like, man, what if I go under the overpass right at the perfect time and the shit just collapsed? You said I've been on that bridge shit feel never ending. Yeah. The Brooklyn Bridge. I wonder, did I go across that when I was in Brooklyn? I don't know if I did. You said I could swim, but ain't no telling what's in the water, right? Shout out to Baby Re in the chat. You said that literally happened in Kenosha after the Rittenhouse fires. <laughs> he said, tell Ryan the next tragedy is the Coke price rising. That's crazy. Uh, anything else you want me to address, man? I think I'm going to cut this one. I'll be live a little bit later. Uh You said the boat was going slow, right? It was. I mean, I seen how it turned. The power cut off twice, but, you know, like I said, man, it's always something, ain't it? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Tunnels? Yeah, I don't go through too many tunnels, but I be thinking the same shit. What my nigga said, I got a da-da-da-da-da. I'm getting claustrophobic. Y'all know that song from Future New Album? Had a da 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 da. I'm getting claustrophobic. That's how I be on them tunnels. Like future. I'm feeling claustrophobic. They made a whole song called Claustrophobic. Nah, for real. It'll definitely go up now that Ryan the spokesperson. Man, niggas looking at Ryan on Twitter like, God damn, what that boy on? I need some of that. Bridges never bothered you until the Baltimore Bridge video. The sky and water is unforgiving. If you make a mistake, that's your ass. I think about that every time I get on the plane. Boy, I'd be like, I know this plane probably probably finna be good. You know, it's gonna take off smooth. But just like, what if I'm on the plane to actually get in the air and that motherfucker come crashing down? Don't you just think that's destiny? If you actually die in a plane crash, that had to be your destiny. Because ain't no way. Like, what could you do? Out of all the fights that could have been went down, your flight go down. That's crazy. I'd be sick. Found the DJ? Yeah, dude. I'm like, that ain't the DJ. He's like, that's the DJ. I'm like, bro. <laughs> supposedly you look like the DJ. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is your name again, bro? Leon. Leon. Yeah. Or Champ Side. Okay. Yeah. Nice yeah. To meet you, yeah. Nice Mario. to meet you. Okay. You organizing the? I do a lot of the PR stuff. Oh, okay. Just for like. What's um, to the uh, what's uh, Fundora coming out to? I don't know. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. See, I, I only work with like Tim Zhu, Lara, Roly, a few other. Guys, okay. You know what I mean? Was Roly coming out to? I don't know. He came out the, the Prince one time. The only one I know is Tim Zoo, and it was that one song. Okay, for sure. I'm gonna be listening out for that. All right, for sure. I try. Y'all remember Roly came out the uh, Prince? I can't remember which song it was though. When when Roly fought Tank, I'm pretty sure Tank came dressed looking like Michael Jackson, with that that war type of. You know when he had the straps on his trunks and then 
and uh and Roly came out the prince. He was wearing all that purple. Nigga Prince, I'll live, Mike Jack. Tell him about your doc. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. I I gotta promote my doc while I'm on the move. Nigga said, cause you black and fly, you a DJ. I think I know who you're talking about, but you know you niggas look the same. Hold on. All right, uh, you said that's why I like cruises. At least they got little boats to get on. I remember I was on the cruise from Mexico, boy. I was shook. I was shook, cause like when you go, when you sleep in the, when you go to sleep or whatever, they be like low in the in the boat, so you be like right on the water level. You be like, oh hell no. Be like Gilligan's Isle, nigga. That used to have me shook. Get stranded on the island, castaway type shit. All right, people, I think I'm done here. I'll be live. Turn on. How many of y'all got your notifications on? Turn your notifications on right now. Okay, I'm going to wait for y'all. Let me know when y'all got it. If you got it, type done. Everybody turn on your notification. I might drop some of the hottest shit that I dropped in a minute real soon. Look out for me. My album dropping today. Young boy never broke again. <laughs> Mine been on. That's what I like to hear. I already know yours on, Miss Aisha. You don't disappoint. The rest of these people, no. Roly coming out to Mary J. I'm going down. All right, people, we out. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Follow us on all social media, Instagram, champ underscore side, Twitter, the champ side, Facebook, the champ side, YouTube, champ side, subscribe right here. Follow me on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Turn your notifications on. Turn it all on. It's going down. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. I appreciate all the support. We do need the support, so, you know. If you can support the brand at dollar sign champ side or through the super chat, shout out to Freedoms March, Siki, Steph, Gerald Hood, shout out to Miss Aisha, Pizzo for the cash app. And uh, I'll be live probably in a couple hours or so. But turn your notifications on. The content is coming. It's the baddest brand in the land. Champ side. Shout out to everybody in the chat. We out. Peace. He said, Ryan coming out to Diddy, hate me now. I can see it already. Probably. All right, man, I'm out. Peace. And go watch the Black Murderers Road documentary. Facts.